And what, so what kind of got you started in the regenerative experience? Oh, I, I had no idea about regenerative. I just was typing in uh, more about basically hair sheep because I had hair sheep. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to learn more about hair sheep. I was just Googling hair sheep. And yeah, yeah. Through Google search, I saw this guy, Greg, who had, you know, some videos about hair sheep. This guy, Greg. And then I found <laughs> out he had a lot more than hair sheep. Yep. So you can see that's the ragweed. Okay, they're not taking down the stall, but the Mashonas will. But if you look at the skin, look at the oil. Mm-hmm. You see any? No, they're slick. You see any real fly action happening? Like a couple of them do, but not a lot. They're pretty slick. And if you ever do have the opportunity, like if you got some. Good morning. Topics, you have the opportunity to buy an abandoned pecan grove. Yeah. I think it's the absolute ideal situation in Florida because you'll never have to be moving shade around. Well, hello. Look at you guys. You're friendly. Oh, thing Even the ones that have the, uh, yeah, he's got the most he's flies on. And you can see how much he's been beat up. He didn't have a scratch on him. Mm -hmm. um, he's not very old. Mm -hmm. He's from Judy's farm. Yeah. And um, Jesus, how cold. Dude. Low to the ground. See how much he's been beat up lately? Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, he's gotten them all pregnant. Right. Because what I wanted was the best of both worlds with the South Pole Mashona. Right, boss. right which I think is going to be on fire. So this is not something that you know we plan on doing. I've had lots of issues with doing this. With the netting? Well, no, with using the netting on the side. Okay. Because you see what's happening? Mm. And then it lowers the height of the fence? Yeah. Whereas that's the timeless fence there. Right. So this is going to get one. I'm just not fully built out yet. Okay. Um, there's going to be another one over there too. Yeah. But this situation here is, is a weak, weak point. Yeah. But, the but if they've got forage, they don't, they're don't. they not looking on the other side of the fence. And just gone all the way across the whole property. Mm -hmm. But the thing about doing that, um, they build these roads, man, in one day. They, they'll they go from there, and they'll walk to there, and then they'll walk to here, and mm -hmm. then they'll walk to there, and they just, you know, they just do these, when you make those long rectangles, they yeah. do a lot of walking. And so I try to keep them a little bit more square. Okay. And that, that's why, the, you know, it's like this. Yeah. Well, again, you build around your centerpiece, you manage around your centerpiece, and the pecans are your centerpiece. So, you, you use the ruminants to enhance and improve the pecans. When you get halfway down this field, that's 15 days of growth here over this. Okay. You kind of see the line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. These are these are goals. I want to be like you when I grow up. I bought a I bought a quarter acre in the land <laughs> that, I can't, awesome. that I can't even get to. Oh, it's it, no, it, no access. Yeah, it's landlocked. Um, I take a helicopter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I could hike out there. Could... But before I would have you know wanted to get rid of the Virginia creeper because you know it's a you know why do you, you don't need Virginia creeper. Right. But the animals love it. Right. They love it. It's only a weed if it's not useful. You know, like I was coming through here with whoppers mm -hmm. once a year, wood chipping, you know? Yeah. Getting the cherries out of here. Mm -hmm. I won't do that now. They love cherry. Yeah. Everyone says cherry will kill them. Well, yeah. In high. If it's dried out. Yeah. And I think in really if high you cut quantities. It you throw it in the ground and the leaves wilt, uh -huh. then it can kill them. Okay. But if they come here and, and pick eat it, it on their own, no way. Okay. Unlike I was going mad trying to take all the Virginia creeper off of the pecan trees because mm -hmm. you know it's not really good for the tree. Yeah. But they love it, and they'll come here. They'll they'll pull this down. Yeah. They pull this. They'll, they'll come in here and they'll pull this whole thing down. And... <laughs> the first like those leaves are up there. Come here, leaves. They love pecan leaves. I mean, look, they've been. This is from the cows, dude. Yeah. The cows ate the pecan leaves. Yeah. Dude. So that, I know it looks terrible, but that post is going to come right back. Right. No, that that's what. So he's talked about. Um, you know, you get you, you get hit with a deer, you get hit with a branch. He goes, yeah, it's designed to give and bend and then pop right back up. Because guess what? That tree didn't call you yesterday and say, hey, uh, I'm probably going to drop a limb right there on your fence if you want to go ahead. And, yeah. So, so yeah. And five strands took it like a champ. Mm -hmm. 
The bottom strand doesn't even look like it was touched. Did somebody just get popped? No, but the dog heard his dick break. Yeah. He was afraid of the fence. Right. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. That bottom second one and even the third one don't even have any tension on them. The top two right. took 100% right. 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 of that load. That's right. right. And only that fence post took a bend. Everything else still standing strong. So it just takes a brick and it floats right there on top of the ground. Okay. That does not go into the ground. Okay. Um, and, and then, then that just takes the tension of the fence being pulled this, that way. This is what, but I use that board. You mm -hmm. see how it's not vertical? Mm -hmm. We do that. Me and Elena learned on our first one, we made it perfectly straight and then we tensioned it and it started to bow. Oh, okay. okay. So you kick them out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that goes in real far. And this takes two bags of cement. Oh, so this isn't floating on that brick. No. This goes into the ground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that bad boy ain't going anywhere. And there's two ways you can do this. You can buy the kit, mm -hmm. um, or you can build it yourself. Okay. But usually if you're building it yourself, you're going to want to buy one kit. Right. Because that's your example. And, um, because I, this is way cheaper to build it yourself, man. Mm -hmm. Um, but it also takes a lot longer because you guys do more drilling, mm -hmm. more cutting. Yeah. People that have money, that have horses and stuff, this is very aesthetically pleasing to their eye. Yeah. And so, just something about that, you know, with the horizontal line, mm -hmm. it's a little bit stronger too. Yeah. Um, more money. Yeah. Um, that's probably the most robust one right there. Right. 